Hey guys, it's J.R. Cochran. So lately I've been thinking something is missing from my book series. And I don't mean book two or three or four, which they are very much missing. But, you know, they don't write themselves. And you have to have time, which lately I have not had much time. Anyway, so what's missing from my series is that nobody knows about it. Nobody knows about the world. Nobody knows about the people. Nobody knows anything. And how are they going to know if I never share? So I thought I would share some with you and go into the politics of the book. After all, it is dystopia and they are going to have some pretty corrupt ones. So, um... We're going to be talking about the Royal Alliance, also known as the RA, especially Ducatia. She really does not like to call them by their name. Most people don't. It's kind of a it's kind of a thing. They just don't like to call them by their name. Now, the Royal Alliance is basically in charge of the military, the police. Uh, you got yourselves the special special units such like as the trackers who are in charge of um, finding and controlling traitors, um, rebels, and assassinating them. And then you have the judges who are the people who go above the trackers, who are kind of like ninjas almost. They are a very secretive Hello? group of people, kind of like Hello? CIA or James Bond or something. You never know them, you never see them, and when you do, you're dead. So don't really matter. You don't want to be tracked by them. You will not survive. And then you have, like... The BAMs, the basic, um, you know, basic armed forces and uh, basic armed military, exactly. And um, they're basically what their name says. You got, you know, privates, lieutenants, all that kind of crap. And then you have um, the peacekeepers, kind of like the police and the gatekeepers, where where they are, the peacekeepers are basically in charge of keeping the gates guarded and, you know, doing all that lovely basic work. <laughs> Making sure the peace is kept within the city, the colonies, and the rest of the country. They don't really have much importance. They don't go very far from wherever they're located. They're not allowed to go very far from where they're located. Um, the BAMs are allowed to travel more and usually travel in packs. Oh, you know, Beta, Alpha, that kind of group. And then you have trackers who are soul. They track by themselves. They don't go in groups. You never really know there's one around. They have stuff stashed everywhere for them. And they are very important in keeping everyday people clueless on what really is going on in the world. And then you have the judges who are even more secretive. I mean, most people don't even know they exist. They're just kind of... <laughs> But these are the people, and we will learn about how they exist in this world and how much power they really have. The president is the only person besides the head of the RA who has control over them. And right now, that isn't even true. They're corrupted and torn apart, broken into two groups, of, two groups in the RA. Those who um, still honor the president's wishes and those who don't. And the ones who don't are the ones who are going to do whatever they want. They're going to corrupt, kill, steal, rape, murder, whatever you can think of, they're going to do. They're going to... They're the ones you need to watch out for. And that group of people is growing. So that is part of the corruption in, in the book. Um... For those of you who have been wondering how book 2 is going, I'm struggling getting a scene done in chapter 16, so at the moment I might write 17 and then come back to 16. So next week we will talk about some, hmm, let's talk about, let's go and let's talk about some of the holidays. I love you guys. Peace out.